guys this is Talia welcome back to my channel this is a crafting channel you see all kind of craft here because I'm into every craft that is out there but today's video is about cross stitch so it's a floss tube and it floss to number 17 I think if I'm not mistaken um, I hope everybody is doing well I have a haircut and a new color I haven't been red in ages I think the last time I was red it was when I was pregnant with my daughter and she's 20 years old. So I decided to go red this time and I shot my hair real short and I love it. So things are open up here again. So slowly they are open up. So the first uh, first time I had called my hairdresser and it was, it was funny the way you gotta do your hair now. Cause there only could be one person in the salon so i always go with my mother at the same time so she put my color i went to the car waited in the car and then when she fit and she went in when she finished i went back in and it was it's funny how you gotta do things now but that's the new normal right so we got it we got it we got to deal with it we got to learn how to live um how to live with it and how to work with our new normal but i was happy to do my hair and then and I, I i i call it right away for my dog too because he looked like chewbacca i have a shih tzu so when i don't groom him for past two months or three he looks like chewbacca so i was able to get him in for the end of the month that's how busy they are they told me that every time they she told me since they they are telling the news that the groomers are gonna open it's like everybody's calling i said well they be they need quarantine haircut too because I mean mine it look like a Chewbacca, so he's gonna get a haircut and get cute at the end of the month. So um, let's start. I don't have much. I only got a few whips. I've been lazy. I haven't worked much, but I have five whips, so that, I think that's good. But I have a big haul. I have one finish. Um, yeah. So we're gonna start with the finishes. Um, so it was a new start. It was a new start that I finished in two days and finished it because I had this idea in my head and I wanted to know if it was going to work before I do all of them. So we're going to start with that. So I know everybody's, uh, I, I have this, uh, pattern. There are free patterns from Brook Books Publisher. I have them since 2018 and I have two in my whip that I'm going to, I'm going to work on them and, and do that. But I'm going to, uh, first I wasn't going to do the whole advent calendar because I was like, uh, no, whatever. So I pick a few that I liked and I mean, I like all the animals, but I said, I'm going to do a few and have them as ornament and whatever. But then I decided to do the advent calendar because I had this idea in my head and um so i started root of i started with 25 so i could do it backwards so hopefully i have them all by by december but these little suckers they are little but they take a lot of time this one took me i worked it two days and the first day i worked it for five six hours straight and i, I didn't count stitches nothing i just put my cancers and finish and that's how i track the time that i spend because i watch a concert that was three hours another concert that was another an, an hour and another concert like that so so i i did like six hours straight in this one and so i did the whole stitching and then the next day i did the back stitch because her back stitch like crazy so i did rudolph because i wanted to see how if he if he worked what i wanted so this is my finish it right here Look how cute it is it is uh with magnet and the washer so i watched priscilla's um video that they have in fat quarter shop and she had the link of the exact things she used so i was able to get it and like go to my home depot because when you click on it it will tell me exactly what i was so i hate to ask so so yeah so that's what it's crooked hold on it's crooked there you go so that's how i'm gonna do them and what i used was this easel that i found 
a Target dollar, um, Tiger dollar bin. So it's unfinished. But what I did, I painted with this um, metallic, metallic pear white that I have in my stash. I have a whole bunch of, I have, I mean, I'm a, I'm a crafter. I have all kind of stuff. So I use this metallic and I like that it's like shiny. So that's why I use that. Um, ribbon that I had in my stash from Michael. Um, I'm gonna do all 25 like that, but every single one of them is gonna have a different ribbon because I don't have ribbon for all of them the same. And this was a ribbon that I bought in clearance long time ago, a few years back. So I have it in different colors, so I will use it in the colors that I have. And some of them will have pom pom, some of them will have ruffle um, thing. I have I have a lot of um, ribbon and stuff in my stash because I used to do um, mini albums and I have all my I have all kind of fibers in my stash. So so I use the stand. It is this and what I did is I put um, this is a scrapbook paper. This is a Christmas collection. That is the Christmas collection that I'm planning to use this year to make ornaments for my tree and to do home decor. So I use the paper there. I put the magnet. I um, the magnet she the Priscilla use is they are bigger. I bought those two, but they didn't have enough. They only had two packs. I bought, I bought everything they had. So um, these are the big ones that she used, and then these are smaller. So I thought that I would keep the big ones for bigger pieces and I use the smaller ones for for the smaller pieces and then I bought a whole pack, a hundred pieces of the washers. So that's that. So I put the small there and then I put one of the washers and it will, so I'll be able to in, change them all 25, 24. Then over here, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut some letters and put Chris, Christmas, and then over here is gonna have like a. I haven't finished it completely. Uh, it's gonna have like a banner that say days. So 25 days to Christmas. It's gonna say Christmas here. Um, I got this space here, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And then I use that bow. I wanted to use a bigger bow. I wanted to use this this big bowl. These are paper bowls. I'm using my my stash, my paper crafting stash to that. But I wanted to use this bigger bowl, but the machine to cut this is already packed. So I use this punch to make that small bowl, and then I had some paper. They had they like they look like candy cane because that's how the butter is and there's a candy cane there and I did the bowl but I wanted a big bowl even though that one looks cute it, I, you know if you don't move it if you just put it they don't move but if you keep moving it so um that and then um I put one of the jingle bells I love jingle bells and everything so I did that and then um I forgot to show this I put bullying uh ribbon that I have in my stash because I like everything blingy. So I had this in my stash and I didn't have enough for for the ornaments, but I had enough to this and like, I'm not gonna change it. What I'm gonna change is the, the things. So that is that. I love the way it came out. So my uh, the idea that I had in my head came out exactly how I pictured it. All I need here is the word Christmas and then it's gonna have like a label or something here. Um, it's gonna be paper craft. And it's gonna say days till, days till, and then Christmas is gonna be at the bottom and some shiny paper, grid of paper or something like that. So that is, that is my start and finish. And I did, um, I wrap the, the piece on the canvas that I purchased, the four by six canvas, that comes in a pack of three. And that's what I'm using for all 25 of them. Um, and then I'm using, I'm, 
I'm buying, I think I'm gonna buy a whole case because it's come out cheaper. And because I'm gonna use them for ornaments too. I love the, I love this for that. So that's what I use to finish my, um, my, my advent calendar. So now I have, I have, I printed three more that I'm gonna start um, either today or tomorrow. So then I have um, number 24, cause I'm gonna do them backwards. Number 23 and number 22. And some of them is gonna take me longer. Like this one is gonna be easy. I don't think this is gonna take me that long to do. Some of them will be time consuming. Some of them, I, I don't think they will. He had a lot, a lot of stuff and a lot of back stitching. I think these ones are gonna be easy. So uh, for me to have all 25 done by December, I had to do one each week plus the other stuff that I have to do. So we'll see how many I will have done from here to December. Again, they are gonna look different. I mean, um, the decor, the term, the way I'm gonna turn, uh, finish them is gonna be different because it's gonna be different um, laces and stuff like that that I have in stash. So that is my finish. Now I that I need to pack. Okay, so let's go with wets. So that was my whip. That was one of my whip start, and I didn't count no stitch, no no stitches or nothing because I thought that it was gonna be your easy one, and it was like, oh my god, never gonna finish this. So anyway, for that was that. But before that, I have work in my long dog. Um, Leap year, Sal long dog. This is the one that I'm doing. I'm using a B-Stitch Me fabric. It's called Loose Wine. That's the name, and it's a 18 count. And the floss that I'm using is the Etoile, the white one, and the black one, because the way that I'm gonna do it, instead of doing all the stuff in black is going to be white and then the letters are going to be black and then this is the color of the fabric that i'm using which is beautiful and i only worked one day the 29 and then i only worked for 30 minutes and all i did was 69 stitches so that's all i have um i just created just where i wanted to start and that's it and so that is that you cannot get the bling in the camera but so that is what i have in my and this this fabric is beautiful that's gonna that that contract of the white is gonna be there you go that's the fabric this fabric is beautiful by b stitch me i love her fabrics it's like oof, it's gonna i had to hold myself because i want all colors so so that is that's my star for the 29 this only comes out um the so um yep yeah, i'm using the floss and remember that i have trouble with this floss back in um in stitch mania so yeah i had to work with less shorter shorter length and and this is an 18 count so it was seen as the 28 count with that i was having problem with but anyway, this one comes out only the 29th of each month because we have four years to finish it, right? So that is that one. Then um, that's when, you know, all the whatever, you know, what happened and then um, free patterns starting showing up because of, you know, United we are, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get into that. But um, one of the... Um, patterns that it was given out was by Beth Twist, which is the her string samplery. And this is the one that we are the same. Watch the meaning in there is beautiful. This is a free pattern. You go to her string samplery block spot and that's what you get it. Uh, I'm using a 30, 32 count lamb's wood jubilant weave, even weave. Um, that I bought a, a one, two, three stitch because I wanted to try 
the small account because with the new glasses I have, I could do small accounts. And uh, the threads that I'm using are color and cotton sweet potato. Um, color and cotton seahorse. We start work Car Carolina Cecil. And then um, Victoria Moto Pretty Garden. So those are the colors that I'm using. I picked my own colors. And um, this is all I have. I haven't done much. This one I haven't done much, but. Ah, uh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I have needles everywhere. So, um, and sorry about the wrinkle of the fabric. But that's all I have. 32 count is small. I mean, I could see it when I'm stitching, but I, it slowed me down. And look how tiny that is. So that's all I have. And I worked on this only one day. One day for one hour and 15 minutes and there's 97 stitches there. So that is that. I've been lazy, guys. I haven't done much. So that is one of the whips. Hold on, guys. Things are dropping. Um, then I started, I finally started the, um, the linen and thread, um, Miss 2020 Miss Suicide, this is January. And I'm using, the fabric that I'm using is a 22 count Ada by um, Michaels. And the floss that I'm using is Wistite Work Love, which is a variegated, very pretty. And I only have three, I need to order. And I did order, uh, I did a one, two, three order and I forgot to put that. So it's in my in my Q snap, and this is all I have so far. Love that the, that I just I just drop the thing. Hold on, I'm a mess. So that's all I have, and I work on this two days. One day for one hour, one hour and thirty five minutes, and I did two hundred and seventy three stitches. And the other time was an hour and I did 119 stitches. So for a total of 392 stitches in two days. So that's that. This is gonna take me forever because we're already in June and, but I, I, I have no rush for that. So, so that is my, gotta make, Cover. I'm gonna keep this one in this Q, Q snap. This is the Q snap I got. It. Excuse me, in Clearance and Michael for a dollar for three seventy five, and I like them so far. So I might get me one more or two. See, and I just lost a needle. See, I'm always losing those needles, and I gotta check it before. Um, I don't know. I went to the floor because my dog could eat it. So yeah, so that was um, my linen and thread sampler. Oh, sampler or um, what is it? Quaker. I don't know. I think it's a sampler. Oh my God, I need that needle. Okay, so um, The next one, it was, uh, I started it on the 13th, which was uh, Dark 13, and it's Gigi by Nora Cover, and I'm doing a purple, a purple convention that I found in the Miravilia group, uh, Miravilia conversion, Miravilia Nora Cover conversion group, something like that. So I found that purple um, conversion, and I'm using um, my fabric of the month for last month from Beach Taste Me, which, is, which was Dreamsicle, which is a beautiful orange. 
and doing her in purple that's this is the fabric look how beautiful is that fabric so let me share with you guys what well, i work on it last night um, not last night the 13 and i only work for two hours two hours and 30 minutes and i did 305 stitches and that's what i have so far I think she's gonna be so beautiful in this fabric. I think I have a conversion for most of them. You go to that to that group and they have beautiful conversions there. I think that's where I got my white conversion for for um, Lady in the Flag, which I'm doing a white conversion. So um, that is my Gigi, and I'm using call for DMCs. So that is other whips I work on this week for two weeks. <laughs> for two weeks, all I worked was in five and five whips, but it is what it is. Um, now that the stores are open, I'm always always in the road. Like today, I went to Marshall and I hit the mother low and clearance for rain right ray done for easter all her easter stuff was 75 percent guys so everything if it was 20 dollars it was 375 if it was 14 dollars was 275 i bought everything that it was in there um for easter it will be decoration for next year but i didn't pay the full price i'm late to her i just find out about her about Ray, uh, Ray Dunn. A few months ago, um, because of Frisita and Chelsea, the Real Housewife, and um, Java Girl Stitches, they have a whole bunch of things of Ray Dunn, and I was like, where is those things so nice? I never seen those in my store. I never looked for them. So, uh, and Marsha and Home Good, that's where, I, where you get them. And I was like, that is so pretty. I like those. So guess what? That is collecting Ray Dawn now. So I went today. I already have a few uh, coffee cups that I use. I have like four of them. Uh, but today I went to Marsha to get a, a, a flat iron. And I went to the home good part because here home good and Marsha is, to, is in the same store. So I went to the home good part and I saw that everything was 75%. I was like, yes, this is the way, this is how you start a, co a collection with everything in clearance. So I bought everything I found for Easter. So I got my Easter rain doll decoration for next year. Beautiful things, beautiful. I mean, it's worth it. They're not expensive. I mean, $20 is not expensive. So, but yeah, so I, I might do a whole separate of that. So let me know if you want to see what I got from Ray Dawn and Clearance and Marshall at Home Goods. So I could do a video for that. So I don't know if there's videos out there for that. So I don't know. So let's start with haul because I have a lot. First, I'm going to start with um, the Fatwater Shop. That store is going to drive me to bankruptcy because <laughs> they have good stuff and they have a lot of good of good um clubs so i belong to one two three i think like four or five other clubs i don't know something like that so um they, the first thing that i i this one is not a club this was just the um a mystery cross stitch sow for now for july christmas in july it's called mistletoe lane and that's what it is. I did order the the thread pack. Um, I'm going with a DMC conversion. It hurts me to pay forty dollars for for thread because they they is either wish that work or DMC. They give you two 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 thread packs, either DMC like for eight dollars, and then you get either color classic color work or wish that work, whatever that pack was be that be for that. For twenty nine dollars, so I went to the I went through the the DMC. So I bought the thread pack and I bought the project bag for this sow, but I have not received it. 
this was just the PDF that they give you in case you're not gonna buy the thread pack. Um, so you could get the you could get ready for July first. Um, I think it's a four week. It's a four part. Four part every week you get a, a, a every week you get a a new pattern. And um, the fabric that I'm gonna use the so yes, uh, twenty overcast twenty five count Laguna by Lotte Hills. It's like a gray one, but I had gray in my stash, so I'm gonna use the fourteen count Ada Mist. It's also gray. So that is what I'm using for this. This is gonna start in July first, so. I have already the, the fabric and hopefully I get the threads before July 1st. If not, I have those colors in my stash that I could start with. So, so that's the new, this should have been in plan. You see, I'm all over the place. That should have been in plan. So, um, talking about the fat quarter, I belong to the, um, to the, to the cross stitch trucking along by Priscilla and Chelsea, the real housewife. They, as you know, they have the they have a now they design um, patterns. So they have a club which you will get all twelve of the of the trucking uh, trucking along. So every month. So you get all 12 months and I have, I, I'm in, I get the kit which brings, it brings the 14 count Ada charcoal by Wiltshire, the charcoal one. And then I get um, the classic color works um, kit for this one. So this is the June. I got all three of them because I just signed up to them last this month. So and so I got the two they have already have been released. I got all of them. I got so I, I'm up to date. So this is the June one, and this is the colors for that one. These are classic color works. Uh, for June, you get bamboo. You get two skin of bamboos. You get caramel. Queen bee. Love that color. Ribbon red. You get two of those. Because it's a lot of red and a lot of white. Then you get river rock. That's a great. You get steamed broccoli, and then you get tea and biscuits. So it's a beautiful color palette for the month of June. And I think it's like $40, so it's not bad for, because if you buy, if you buy the, the packets, the color, the thread packets like that, it's like $30, so. So it's a good deal. So that's June. Make sure I put it back in the bag because that's June. This is July. Of course, it's red, um, red, white, and blue. Again, I get all the colors. That's the pattern, and then I get the black Ada. It's not black, it's charcoal. Charcoal. It's black, but it's charcoal black. And I love Augie's. Oh my God. I, uh, I love Augie's because it's sunflowers. So. And the colors for the thread are beautiful. I didn't show the uh, July because this is, you know, red, white, and blue. So let me show you this one. It's that they put everything in, in individual bags. 
so that's the August one. Love all those Flamingo. And the truck is like light green, but I would like to make the truck a bright yellow. So I might change the color on the truck, even though I get all the other things, but I think a bright yellow, yellow the, the car will be so nice. And I'm gonna decorate it like that with a sunflower and everything. So um, the colors you get, again, bamboo, barn door, chopped chives, another ginger snap, honeycomb, sassy brass, Steam broccoli, so you get, I guess you use the same color and some of, with some of the same colors, and trail dust, beautiful colors. I think that it looks like the car is this color. The top white, let me see. No, the truck is steamed broccoli. That's the color of the truck. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna order a classic color work yellow. They will be bright, and that's how I'm gonna do the car. I think it will be cuter for me. So yeah. So that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So. So that is the August. So uh, like I say, like I signed up last month in May. So I need, and it started, I think it started in April. Cause you get like to um, June, May, you got June. June, you get, no, I don't know. Because June was August. And then um, July is gonna be September. So I was behind two, two months. And um, I was able to get all three of them. So now I'm cut up because she started with June. The the club started with June, but then in June, I, I don't remember, something like that, something like that. I know that the month of July, I get September truck. And it finished in March of 2021, this, this series. So I got that from Fat Quarter Shop. So that's one, that is, that is one of the, because this is not a club. Well, it is a sow. This is a sow. The truck, trucking along is a club. So for a whole year, right? Then uh, also in the Floss Frenzy Club, which is week's tight work. And this month was, uh, it was white, different whites. Silky white was this month. So I got parchment. I got parchment. I got grits. I got whitewash. I got cocktail. And this one is, there you go. Then I had linen. And then I have light khaki. You get two, you get six skins every month. So that's a way of building my stash of weeks. So that's that. And then I'm also in the um, cake, cake layers. That's for quilting. So I could get the cake, a cake layer every month or the a new collection. And also another South by Lori Hall, the stars. I think it started in July too, but that's a year long south. So, so that is that. So that is, that's it for Fat Quarter Shop. I'm telling you, Fat Quarter Shop and Facebook um, stash on, on low is gonna make me go broke. Um, I received a few things from AliExpress. So I received 
one of the, I ordered two bundles of the complete set of CXC, CXC, which is um, I've used DMC too because I have I have a lot of DMC, but I was this is the mainly that I use, so I could get the whole 447 skins for forty dollars, thirty thirty five dollars, something like that. So I ordered two complete sets of the 447. And then I ordered two set, two different sets, two or three different sets, I don't remember, of 100 skins because those are for my head. Two that, I'm, that I was supposed to start in July, but I have not received the, ski, the thread. I mean, I could start them, but I haven't received the packets yet. But I received one of the 447 skins and this is it. I got thread grow. And I already have a full set. That's the one I'm using right now. So this is my backup full set. So as I keep, you know, as I waste one, one, I pull another one from this. So I have two, two backup for my, for my main, for my main one. I only received one now, so it's four packs. This is 447 skins of floss. So that is that. So I am set for threads. I don't need to really buy more, but I like to kit up the big projects. I like to buy their own. Their own. And then I bought this square ruler for quilting. And then I got this thing. I don't think this is copyrighted. I had look to see if it's copyrighted but I don't think it is I don't I haven't seen it um, and I haven't seen it in one two three stage that's why I buy mostly of my of my thing is this calendar banner but I don't think I'm gonna do it as a banner I just gonna do it as a monthly thing so I could switch it uh, in something like this I have another one see I, I'm gonna have to put just when I move it so I have an, I have this one right here so I could use I could do the monthly the months so that's what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do the months separate it comes for the fabric um, but I don't think I will have enough to do it as a separate so I will use this for something else say that it comes in beige it comes with the needles and then those are the, the thread. So I think I would do a different fabric so I could do them individual because this is set for, to do it as a whole, as a banner. And I don't wanna do it as a banner. I wanna do it um, individual, so. And they are so cute. That is right there. So that's all I got from AliExpress. They started to show slowly, but they are starting to roll in. Then I received my fabric of the month for the month of June from Bistish Me. I also supposed to receive the one from the Fortnite, but they are running a little behind, so I should get that in a week or so so it's a 14 count it's called his biscuits and i did change my my um my subscription i used to rec i used to get the regular one but now i change it to be opalescent so all my fabrics they're going to be opalescent from now on and look at this fabric it's beautiful i don't think you're going to be it's, it's opalescent so I don't, there you go, there you go, there you go. It's so glittery, there you go. But this fabric is beautiful. I was thinking, I already have my fabric picked up for Princess Eliana, but I think she will look beautiful. Those colors she's using, it will look beautiful in this fabric. So I think I'm swapping the fabric for um, Princess Eliana. She has a fabric already, but I think this would be perfect. And then it's opalescent. I think it would be perfect for that or you see or also it could be perfect for Raven Queen 
Raven Queen will look nice here too. So I gotta, I gotta see. I gonna, I'm gonna do a floss toss and see if if I don't change it to to Princess Eliana, then I will do my, I will put it in with Raven Queen. Raven Queen will look good in this one too. So I don't know. I'm in love with her fabric. I mean, I want, I want every color of her fabrics. So I've been trying to be good. Because uh, last Friday, not this Friday past, the previous Friday, she did a Friday night phone, whatever that thing she does. I didn't win none of the fabrics. You had to be quick. You had to be quick in that. So I didn't win none of the fabrics, but I did purchase some of her silk. So I ordered two silks from her. I had not received them. I thought she was going to send them together with the fabric of the month, but I guess she didn't. Uh, so I received, I'm gonna get, I got two, two of the silk and for one of them, um, I have a project in mind. So, so that is my fabric of the mom, bitch teach me beautiful fabric, beautiful fabric. So then, Stash on Low on Facebook, I'm telling you, but it's a Stash on Low and Miravilia sells they're gonna make me go bankruptcy. So I ordered a whole bunch of patterns. They arrive. I still got more that need to arrive. So it's from different different sellers. It's not just one seller. So um, the first one that I got was this one, Liberty by Glory B, Sweet Liberty. All my 4th of July stuff, I will not start that until next year because I ain't gonna have to display them this year. I gotta finish practice because I think I'm leaving by the end of next month. So then I got this one that I've been wanting for a long time, and um, one, two, three stitch is always out of stock of it. For Jardin Privé, I cannot say whatever he says there because it's, it's French. So it's this one. Um, I don't know if I will stitch the letters. I don't like stitching. I don't like the alphabet in my stitches. So I, I don't know if I do that or I could do because I seen this. Um, the ladies that I follow from Spain, one of them has it and has her YouTube name in it. So I think I will put crafting with Dahlia in, in here. We'll see. I don't know because I don't like stitching letters. I don't like stitching the alphabet. I don't like that look. I like whatever it is, whatever is around it, but I don't like the alphabet. So I don't know if I will stitch the alphabet on this one or I'll put my YouTube name, my crafting with Dahlia name. So we'll see. That is that. Then I got, I got this little one by Hans, Hans Fun Elegance. This is tiny. Oh, this is a quickie so that's that one and then from the same seller i got this um lissy k one uh lost love keep us warm and then it brings the the buttons so that's from one seller I put this little one in there because I lose them. And then I'm starting to collect because I want to collect them all. Um, the Santas from the Pretty Schooler. That was the video that I the last video that I said that I want to do all Santas, but I couldn't remember the company. It's the Pretty Schooler. Um, so I from Statue and Law. I bought two of them, but I bought uh, I bought a whole bunch for one, two, three. But I haven't received the order. It's funny I did one bigger order and I received the second order that I did like two days after and all patterns they're all pattern there's no fabric or nothing in them so now I received one today I supposed to receive the other one tomorrow so um, I might do a uh, extra floss to maybe to show that order so I got two of them I got 1996 and 2012 and I want to collect them all and I want to stitch them all and have them in my cross stitch 
three but I'm not gonna aim to do it all this year I'm gonna do a few this year but I want to collect them all so that is the two I got from Stash and Low then I got this one I have a few of my sewing rooms but my daughter has you know she has a sewing room too so I could do some for her um, so that this is by Bobby G Designs my sewing room so I got this from Stash and Low um, collecting Miravillas so I got another Miravilia and there's more coming. This is um, Rapunzel, 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 whatever you could say that. That's her name right there. Rapunzel, I don't know. So I think she is cute. I, I want Alice too, so I need to get it. It's in my, it's in my wish list in, in one, two, three. So that's that. Another one for the collection together with a copywriter ones then I got this from cinnamon hearts needlework it's called pine needle Christmas because I want to do all those little pillows for the tree and for you know to decoration so sorry about the glare about my lights so that's that um, then I got this one this is like all Santa's but I only pay like three dollars for it so it's like an old one. It is bought from it doesn't say the year, but this is very 90s. Yeah, it's very 90s. It doesn't say the year, but so yeah, it's just some Santa, so I thought it was cute. And for three dollars to add for to make pillows, ornaments. So and then I thought this was cute too, so I got it. Um by the Needlelock Company. Oh, the same company. This are the same company. Um this one is Hard Star Christmas. Again, I could make big ornaments out of them. Like this one could be a big ornament. I mean, they're not that big. That Merry Christmas is 52 by 79. So they're not big. And I could make them in 28 count to make them a little smaller so they could be hanging the tree. So I got that one. So that's all I got from Stash and Low that I received so far. So that's that. Then from Stony Creek, like you know, every month there's a pattern of the month free, and right now they are working on on Halloween. So I got my June 2020, which is that one. Again, you're supposed to do this, but I'm not doing it as a banner. I'm doing them um, individual as a as a flap flap board, but not as a not a, not to stand, just to hang in the tree or oh, to decoration so this is the um june one and then like i said you get the previous one for 350 so i bought the one from 2017 one other one from 2017 because i want them all but i buy them every month i buy one or two so i bought this one on um, witches meet at 12 o'clock this one from september 2017 again you could buy them all and do the the banner but I don't want banners, I want a ornament. So that is that. And then um, this one was from August 2019. Bon Appetit. Again, this is all the collection, which I will get all of them, but little by little. So that is that. Um, I'm supposed to start working on, on Halloween because I had no Halloween, nothing for that tree. So. I think in July, after Ju August, September, October. It's, if I start in August, I'm not gonna have enough. Um, then from eBay, another Nora cover. And it's the Queen Bee. I'm being honest, this one, I did purchase this one as a copy from AliExpress, 
but I never received it. So I was happy that I never received it. And then I was, I was able to find the pattern and because I was like, oh my God, this is an auto print, right? I think I'm not going to find it. And I was able to find it. And, oh no, this is not auto print. This was 2019. I was able to find it on eBay. So I got it in eBay. Miss Queen B. So that was an eBay purchase with an, with a die, but it's paper craft, so I'm not gonna show that. Um, then I order from everything, everything, eh, everything cross stitch. I needed to order all the buttons for the um, Christmas Village Mill Hills. So I don't have the buttons. Um, so I purchased them. That's the snowman the doggy the tree another snowman a flower pad the little girl a little doll a little lantern and a wreath and then like buttons cannot travel alone so I got myself another kit I got one that I didn't have, um, so I got the needle workshop. Again, this is something that I wanted. I have an idea of how to finish them. I already have two started, and the rest they're gonna be starting Christmas in July. I'm not doing it in that perforated paper. I'm doing it in a blue, blue um, Ada. And I have an idea how I want to finish them, but I got to finish one so I could see the idea if we were going to work or not. <laughs> so that is from Everything Cross Stitch. And then I got a, I got to finish because it's an hour and I, I don't, I don't want to do two videos. Uh, so I'm gonna go quick on this one and um, then I did uh, uh, my second order from one two three I'm waiting for the first one so I ordered this that I've been wanting It's the most fast wonderful fast feast of the year for Thanksgiving um, Another pretty schooler, but a, a whole bunch more coming in. Oh my God, do I have this one, 2006? See, that's what happened. No. I was like, oh my God, I got that one already. Um, uh, that's another one, but I ordered a whole bunch in the first order. So that's another one that I wanted and it came, in, came, came back on, on stash. And then I ordered this Hellstream Festive Little Fobs. One, two, three, can keep this on stock. No, every time I have them in my car when I log in, because I have my car, but I, I mean, every time I log in, they're out of stock. So I decide next time they come in stock, I'm gonna buy them all at the same time because they, you can never find them. So this one is the stitching edition. This is the Americana edition. And I want, and I want to do those and put them in this I want those for this thing so I could change them every month um, this is the Christmas edition I think there's two more that I need that it will not it was not on stock this is the winter edition the coffee edition so I could keep it in the in the in my coffee station so yeah, I think I need two more, cause uh, uh, I think there's the B, the B one, it was out of stock. The B one and another one. I think the spring, cause I have, I have winter. I have winter and Christmas. So yes, I need I need a few more. I need the spring, the summer, spring and summer the autumn so i need like four more but they always out of stock always always so that is my one two three order and let's do quickly um 
the free pattern of this week this was from the that website that i told you be kind always so i download that one the past i have the ones is more related for father's day i don't do father's day so um i didn't get them but then i purchased this one for a dollar and then i purchased this one for a dollar and then uh i found this block thanks to Pat um chelsea um oh I forgot i forgot her name now ah chelsea and her mother i forgot her name so she did this one she did this one Priscilla, Priscilla and Charcy, she did this one and I liked it and she said it was a free pattern from the Not Forgotten Farm block spa. So you go there and she had beautiful patterns. So I'm gonna do this one next year, but then she has this one. Another patriotic one, or say can't you see? I will not do the sheep. Another one. Another one. This says autumn. This one says June and it has some flowers. Another patriotic one. Love that. This one says happy Halloween. This no man. It looks like a Brenda Gervais um, kind of thing. And the last one was this one. Great patterns. Great patterns. So that was my great find, my free find for this month, for these two weeks. So that's it. So that's all I'm doing. Um, let me share with you quickly. I only had done one black for my class. I haven't had time because I've been in the street and when I get home, it's late. And I don't wanna do nothing. But I only have one block done. So I have five more to go. I have one um, out there that I gotta stitch the, the, the hexagon first and then attach it to the thing. So I got one block. I have no rush for this class, so little by little so yeah so that's all i have for you guys um plans for this week i am planning to continue working um like i said previously i want to see finishes it's so rewarding to see finishes love this love this every time i move it it moves love this so i'm gonna be working on the 24 this week which hopefully it would it won't take me two days to that to do that one because she uh, that one is not i'm planning to continue i want to work on Gigi again um so i might work on Gigi. um i'm not following prompts or, or nothing um but if i will follow prompt today says so a monday so it's supposed to be a melavilia monday so Gigi is a melavilia not a cover so i might work that but i want to i want to get back to my gypsy queen and my queen uh, my lady of the flag so i have no plans uh whatever i want to stitch i will stitch i have no plan i said june is a freebie month i'm stressing and I'm, I'm not following no nothing so whatever i want to pick this week you will see whatever i pick this week you will see it next week when i do the floss too if i hopefully i have another another event finish i don't know if i'm gonna finish fully finish them completely uh yeah now because like i say i this week i gotta empty this room completely i had to pack it not this week next week next week i'm packing everything because um i like i say i think i'm leaving by the end of july beginning of august so this and i had to send my friend because i'm using a company to move me so i had to give them three weeks in advance so when they're gonna i gotta call them three weeks in advance so they could give me an appointment to come pick up my stuff so they i could ship it and then i leave so i had to have all this ready by july middle of july 
so I could call them and they could pick it up and then I leave at the end of June July beginning of August so so I don't think I'm gonna have but at least I will have them finish because you know glue them together and put in the lace and all that uh, it takes time but I could do that I could do that once I move but for now it's just to finish I need to finish them every I need to finish at least one every week I need to do that plus work and other stuff um starting July is July jolly July July is completely Christmas ornaments and whatever I have I have a few big ones that I wanted to stop but I think I'm gonna hold on to those and just do small ones so I could have all the tree and then after July August it's supposed to be the um, the sample sample month but I'm gonna deal with that I start in August it's gonna be starting July until November it's gonna be Christmas and starting August it's gonna be alternating Christmas and Christmas and Halloween I gotta work on those if I want to have a treat for that so and for Halloween I have nothing and for Christmas I have nothing stitched because I just came back a few months ago and now I want a Christmas a tree all from my um, my Santa's uh, uh, my Santa's at least have my Santa's done and I want to change the color skin of the Santa I don't know I don't want to do them red because I don't use red even though I'm gonna have a red tree because it's gonna be all with a red truck but that's gonna be only red truck Santa's are not gonna be in there so I do have one Santa that I'm converting so I'm trying to see what color scheme I want to do them I want to do the Santa's and pastels because that's the colors that I decorate with so I want to do them pastel so I gotta sit down and <laughs> convert so I gotta get into that so we'll see because I want to do everything that colors that I'm gonna be using every year because that's the colors I never had a red green and last year I had a red truck tree but it was a small one it was like a it was a desktop one it was like four feet one so but this year i'm doing a six feet one all red truck my paris which is pink and black and white and then the the cross stitch one i want it to be colors that match my decoration pastels colors a lot of pink and white so anyway that's the plans we'll see what i have finished what i do with them so i gotta sit down and do a conversion for them so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye now.